Hey everybody, I'm Nigger from here and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Let's play the daily. Come on, you. I believe, internet. So yeah, uh, the, when you're watching this, I am probably currently at a hackathon hacking my brains out. So, ooh, diverse. 10% gold, but cannot upgrade cards. One path. All right, well, that's gonna... Let's hope we get an early do something check please I'm not gonna draw three strikes this time okay so the vulnerable deals eight damage or sorry the bash deals eight damage it makes this do nine so we're good in fact we'd be good without the vulnerable uh no not quite None of those are worth it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? The effects of your cost X cards are increased by two. Oh, that's fun. That's flavorful. I like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove a strike. I know we could get some other stuff. This feels like a good buy. Is it though? I feel like we should wait. Like we've got, well, we're gonna have shops in the future. I'm not getting cursed. I know we could do discard shenaniganry. Do a heal six at the end of every combat. So let's take advantage of that. It's better to make him vulnerable more than once. We can kill him exactly. Beautiful. Um, This basically becomes when you take damage deal eight, so I'll take it. I don't, I don't know if it's worth it, but let's try. Make him vulnerable and smack him. We do have one orb slot. We're going to heal six, remember. So now we're going to deal three. Oh, darn it, we could have killed him. Eh, my math was bad, but that's okay. Applying vulnerable seems really good. Yeah, no. Beam cell's good. All we can do is rest. We really need something to do with our rest there. Alright, so we can beam cell him. We'll do one block, because we're going to heal two. But this way we've got two vulnerable on him. We probably won't be able to kill, but... By doing this... Yeah, those days are going to suck. But we've got... We're, we're going to start... Start the pain train here. Because we're going to pick up some more days per usual, but then we're actually dealing some damage. So I can kill him by taking eight, and I think that's worth doing. I probably should have focused on this one, but since this is the one that's going to be up next. I will hit that. All oh, right, we don't have enough energy. That's okay. It's perfectly fine. We got the kill. Basically, if we ever manage to not defend we get to deal a whole bunch but we get to exactly kill it thank goodness potion belts okay 
all for one is really good, but so is offering. Because we don't have a ton of zero cost cards right now, but it gives us incentive to pick up more. And I think that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a synergy here. No, it's not what I was hoping for. Can either deal eight damage, which is 12 or 18. I think I want to deal the, or add the extra vulnerable. That's whenever you get hit, deal 16 damage. So I don't have any zeros in my discard pile, so. They're gonna take two damage, which means we're gonna deal 16. So he is dead. Black potion is good. Blizzard, yeah, no, we, none of those we can make work. There we go. I mean, it, it paid off decently. Okay, I'm pretty sure I want to strike, strike, strike here. Just because he's going to split. And this way we have the least to actually deal with here. Gotcha. Oh geez. I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna go into a shop room, heal seven. So two does not because the next two curses are negated. Trying two extra cards is good. So is Flash of Steel. This is tempting because we'd pick it up, but I'm not going to. Um, we'll take 20 damage. I believe. Question is going to be if we can kill him. Okay, so we've got eight and nine. Yeah, I know we didn't have to do it that way, but that seems like a good place to do it. Um, I I'm going to take leap. We don't have AoE, I have realized. I want to smack one of them. Just so that now we've got two that are valid targets. Because we can't defend all of this. We can come close though. So beam cell I can use to kill this one. Okay, I like this plan. So we only take one damage. Uh, 
And then, yeah, this, now we just win. So overall, we netted 5 HP, and I think that's good. Oh my god. I didn't even think about Clash. I'm digging, because I'm an idiot. Sure can play three attacks, gain strength. Okay, we've got an archetype. It might not be a good one, but it's an archetype nonetheless. So we're going to take damage here. Got some strength. That is twenty four damage. This will prevent me from taking five and also deal a whole bunch of damage to him. Like that, yeah. And I'm totally okay with not taking damage here, by the way. Yeah, see, so here's where this falls through. Wait, all for one gets us clash and deflect. I think overall that ends up being worth it. And we're going to deal 8 damage for taking 1. We do have a block potion if ever things reach a serious nature. We are defended. <laughs> the burns are going to suck. Oh man though, we drew the clash at the perfect time. He's not dead, but he's going to be. The dig, the dig was so important. Oh gosh, that's really good. Uh, yes. The four focus is really good too. I'm taking this because it lets me non-guiltily dig like every time. And I'm going to I like potions. Potions are really good. Or whenever you lose HP, draw one card. Eh, taking that. It's sustain... The extra energy would be nice, but we're also kind of going for a zero energy deck, so it's kind of like, eh. All right, so if I leap and defend, which is something I want to do, I gain some strength, knock him down, don't take any damage. Though, quite honestly, if I had static discharge, it might be worth taking some of this damage. The dumb thing is it's actually pretty worth taking the damage here. We might kill him when he attacks because we're going to take two by two by two. Nope, didn't have him. It could have happened, though. Okay, charge battery plus. We need to start removing defense, though. Like, that kind of needs to become a priority. Eh, you know, whatever. Take two damage? Okay. We absolutely wrecked him in a single round. Let's get the... Uh... Let's take the charge battery. Though we have extra energy in our hand. Beam cell bash, all for one. Dunzo. Explosive potion, very good. Endless agony. 
Oh, yeah. Zero cost cards, man. I actually don't want to use Seek because he's already up to seven stacks on that. So we're going to take six damage here and channel our shenanigans. Um, I'm going to save it. I'm willing to do this. Oh my lord. Anger's really broken, by the way. Actually, shoot, what's in her hand? Okay. Oh shoot, I can't actually play all for one then. I do need to upgrade that also, if I can. It's very likely there is no way for me to do that, but. Nice. That was a clutch lightning strike. We're going to take some damage here, but that's okay. It's not much. I'm going to get to turn around and deal a whole bunch of damage in recompense. Yeah, that's turning out to be really good. Okay. So, you all have artifacts, but you're the more annoying one. You need to play Leap, Defend, and Deflect in order to be able to play this Clash. Whenever you draw this card. So, I don't think that works the way I want it to. Yeah, that doesn't work the way that I want it to. That's adding a lot of angers to my turn. So this is where this hurts. And my hand would have been frickin' full. Oh gosh. When our HP is low, we get additional strength. That could be very clutch. Don't really need to defend, but don't really have anything else to do with that, so. So I am actually looking for some defense here. OK. 
Okay, I can totally play three attacks here. To make the Flash of Steel do an extra bit of damage. I can still play that for funsies. And anger, anger clash. It's so anger is so good. Twelve, fifteen, fifteen is forty two. I think it's worth doing there. We're probably going to get some potions here. Upgrade two attacks. Um, it's already upgraded, so I wouldn't. I don't think I want any of these. Bastion all for one. Those are probably the best two attacks to have upgraded. Uh, yes, I will lose all the HP required of me to get the Necronomicon. Whenever you add an attack, it's upgraded. That's good. All right, uh, scrape is going to be really good here. Uh, alternatively, oh my god, we have 800 gold. Okay, well, we're removing a defend. Everything starts with vulnerable. Scrape, beam cell. Gain six block whenever you shuffle your draw pile. I think we, we just go nuts here. We buy everything. I totally have missed that we've gotten so much. No damage for us. We do need to get some more all for ones, mind you, but... Dang. Yeah, the Necronomic Curse is going to be problematic. Problem solved. Slice cost zero, it is the answer. I play the defend instead of the slice. I'm a dumbass. Oh well. Him attacking early is really good for us, so. Oh, yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, the hex is really annoying. This, however, is frickin' beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, it gets played twice. Eh, none of those are look particularly useful to me. Remove all strikes, obtain five bites. Lose blood vial. Um... Uh, what do we currently have in our deck? We have four strikes. I don't want that. I don't want those. Although, actually, yeah, this is better. Play one once and we're good. And also, they all got upgraded. They all got upgraded. Okay, yeah, that was totally worth it. Never mind. Holy crap, what is this hand? The Necronomic Curse is really unfortunate. Place three random attack cards from your draw pile into your hand. I mean, he's 
dead if I just attack like this. And I will heal more doing that, so I will do that. Um, yeah, no, this isn't. Runic Dodecahedron, if we're at full HP, gain an extra energy. That Flash of Steel is really good. Actually, with the Bites, it works out pretty well. Okay, so we are going to lose that extra, which sucks, but... If they're all zero-cost cards, it doesn't matter, so I'll play that. We're not playing Bash this turn. I would like the Beam Cell, please. He's going to heal, but... Or no, he removes his buffs and adds a whole bunch of strength. Can I survive this? It's less than 60 damage, so yes. <laughs> Suck it, wench. Ooh, grand finale. I mean, grand finale is really hard to actually manage, so I think I have to say no. Do I... mm. One mana deal 15 seems really good. Curses are really bad. I have no idea how many elites we're going to get, so I'm taking the lizard tail for survivability. How many elites are we going to have? One. Okay. We made the right decision, I think. So none of them are dealing a ton of damage. I have to use this. They're all pretty much dead, but I can't kill them all. Gotcha. Reflex isn't worth it. Yeah, none of these. Just all non-attack cards in your hand. Gain seven block for each. That's tempting because it would thin my deck. But I don't think I'd get it enough, like, at the right time, enough times. Everything we have is an attack. We just eat them and become full health again. Eat. May I move this and switch and play the top card of your... Oh my god! Do we have anything that would absolutely destroy us if we did that? I think the answer is no. Warcry at zero is just good. Because you draw two cards and put one back, which means it replaces itself. So let's just stack our deck better. Let's see. Now I can't play Clash. Ok. 
curse you, Necronomicers. I actually haven't checked if the Endless Agony matters. I'm just going to defend against it. There's no reason not to. Place a card from your hand on the bottom of your draw pile. It costs zero until it's played. See, that would be really good. I really hate that that's how that worked out. I should have thought about that ahead of time. There's a really good chance he's just dead here. Bye. Infernal Blade. At a random attack to your hand, this costs zero this turn. Eh. Costs zero this turn, not next turn. Not for the combat. If it said for this combat, I'd be all in. I want to see if I bring it back if I get a second copy. Well, that was unfortunate. I mean, we killed him. I wasn't even paying attention to his health. Flying Knee is really good. Sure, I'll take it. Um, I've already got a weak potion. Uh, yes. Dramatic Entrance. Bandage up costs zero. Draw three random skills. Add three random skills. They cost zero this combat. Uh, that's actually really tempting because they're skills that cost zero. And they could be anything. Call me weird. I want to try it out. I mean, there's apotheosis in there. Like, ask question, get answer. That's how that's going. You're taking a little bit of damage here, but it's not that wor the worst thing ever. That's eh, kind of. It's kind of meh. Wait, it said add them to your draw deck? I thought it said add them to your discard pile. That actually makes it worse. Whoops. Now we're going to take 17 damage. Oh, never mind. Ah, we got hit once. We had it. Ooh, singing bowl. That's good. I think we take the deflect here. Can I kill kill this motherfucker in time? Here's the real question. We're going to find out. 
add five random skills into your draw pile. Holy crap. We're going to take a decent chunk of damage here. Yeah, that did like nothing. I don't know, it was worth trying, I think. I did play that in the wrong order. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw two cards. Um, let's put the Necronomicon there. It's a zero cost that I want to play. Hmm. That's actually probably was the better call, putting my all for one there. Why do I have oh multicast? God damn it. Um If I take oh that's right, it's upgraded. Then We're going to have Mayhem as a power in Static Discharge, so I'm not going to be able to play everything that I want to play here. But I do want Scrape. And I guess I might as well take Flash of Steel here and just know that I'm right because I'm not going to be able to. I just don't actually want this in my hand. My hand is too full. We might get close. I don't think our deck is quite smooth enough for this to actually work though. Oh, we deal double damage. We've got Leap and Doppelganger and Multicast. Wait, what? The Wait, how the hell did he get 72 strength down? Do we really? Oh, we really dealt that much damage, didn't we? And then he dies. Gambler's Brew is very useful. That actually seems really good, but I'm taking the HP, I think. It seems good. Oh my gosh, this is new. Does it mean intentions inflict negative effect? You attack for nine damage. So it means intentions are unknown. Here, let's just make this easy. You do you, man. I'm just going to ignore you. Well, okay, not fully ignore you because you're going to deal some damage to me, but... Well, that's dumb. Oh my god. Well, I think they made those cards worse.
We're taking damage here because we didn't draw anything good. Which sucks. Gotcha. Not worth it. Might actually be worth it. We do have a good number of zero cost cards, but I don't know if it's enough. I might as well try it. Do we have a shop? We do have a shop, thank God. The courier. <gasps> no one runs out of card or potions. Ah! Okay, we have to do this. That's unfortunately not worth it. We're not resting. Okay. Unfortunately, this is about all I want to spend here. So sure, if we add, if we somehow manage to add a power to our deck. I want to fight for more than one reason. Could have played that better. I wanted a bite. Ooh, we can no longer be weakened. Oh, let's take that HP. We already have one. Actually, I'm not going to ever use a smoke bomb. Some extra decks could be okay. Well, interesting, the Chrysalis is not that interesting. I am defended. 30 damage? I feel like we can do that. And he's just dead. Ah, uh, no. Don't want any of those. They're already all vulnerable, so... So if I go one, two, oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Claw. That's what I've been waiting for. Let's dig. See what we get. Self-forming clay. Whenever you lose HP, you gain three block next turn. All right. I knew this was coming, but, you know, whatever. I really wish I had one more card.
Oh my god, I didn't even see that there were three drink. Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay, we can play four cards next turn. We are really taking a beating here. We do have increased strength, though. I need to do this. Okay, I get how many of these? Seven, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's done. <laughs> get fucking wrecked, bitch. What? What a fight. I don't think we did all that great. 811 isn't too bad. For being railroaded into a path, we did pretty darn good for ourselves, if I do say so myself. <laughs> raining money holy crap that's a lot of money c -c -c combo play 20 cards in a single turn we totally did that deck set of 35 cards yep collect your four copies of any non-starter card um oh right that would be the bites yeah we only got one elite on each thing so that's a lot of score lost for us and i mean it's a good thing that i didn't change uh, choose the star. I mean, we did have the lizard tail, so even if I had died, we would have come back 50% HP, which is also really good because, yeah, red skull. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I had a lot of fun playing it. I will see you next time, but until then, keep your gears turning.